UFC 275 in Singapore was one for the ages. In the main event, there is a new UFC light heavyweight champion after Yuri Prohajka becomes the first man in MMA competition to submit Glover Teixeira, ending out an absolutely insane fight that went almost all five rounds. Prohajka submits to share at the 4.32 mark of round five, the second latest title fight stoppage in UFC history. Just an absolutely wild back and forth fight. It seemed like both men were out of it on multiple instances throughout this bout, but ultimately Prohajka is able to last a little longer and get the job done. And he is now the first Czech born champion in UFC history, a historic feat for Prohajka and he now moves forward in a very interesting chapter in the history of the light heavyweight division. This guy is one of the most thrilling fighters we've ever seen in the UFC and for him to capture gold in just his third octagon appearance, a huge feat for him and it is going to be very interesting to see what type of title reign this guy has. I think he matches up pretty well with most of the contenders in this weight class and I think as far as his first title defense, there's a pretty clear man in line in my opinion. I think the former champion, Jan Bull does make sense. I know there's that upcoming UFC 277 fight between Megamed and Kalaev and Anthony Smith. Definitely a marquee fight for that division and a spectacular performance from one of those guys perhaps leads to a title shot. But I think right now, Jan Blachowicz does have the leading seat in terms of getting that shot. I think these guys have kind of circled each other for a while. They're Poland versus the Czech Republic. It's an interesting history there. I just think it would be a compelling matchup, and I think Blachowicz's power would be a very curious matchup for Prohoshka because if he got as sloppy and as wild as he has in some of these fights, I think Blachowicz could potentially catch him and make this a quick title reign, but remains to be seen what would happen in that fight, but I think it would be one we would all want to watch. As far as the co-main event, Valentina Shevchenko holds on to her women's flyweight title by the narrowest of margins, a split decision win over an extremely game Tyler Santos for her seventh defense. This fight was very, very close, depending what you value in terms of judging. This could have gone either way, honestly, but ultimately two of the three cage side judges felt Shevchenko's work was better and she keeps that belt. She's still undefeated since dropping to 125 pounds and it is going to be very curious to see what happens with her going forward. She said coming into this fight that she wants to move up afterwards and challenge the winner of the UFC 277 rematch between Juliana Pena and Amanda Nunes going for the second belt and to further solidify her legacy in the sport. It seemed afterwards that maybe she changed her tune a little bit on that fight. She mentioned the winner of Lauren Murphy and Misha Tate as a potential next opponent for 125. Of course, she is gonna stay at that weight to a degree at some point, continue defending this title. So I think regardless of what order it happens, that Tate versus Murphy winner could be a fight that we see for Shevchenko in the future. But I think right now, a big fight that needs to be made is the winner of that Pena versus Nunez fight. We want that Nunez trilogy fight with Shevchenko. There was a lot of interest in those first two matchups. And of course, we know Shevchenko has already submitted Juliana Pena once before. So uh, we have to see some fights play out here Shevchenko revealing afterwards that she came into this fight with an injury and she fears it could be a serious one coming out of this we'll have to see what happens in terms of her health going forward how long she could potentially be out but she said maybe later in the year December or so she wants to see herself fighting that for that 135 belt so I think when you look at the landscapes of both 125 and 135 it does make sense for Shevchenko to pull the trigger and move up now and I think after seeing this performance both Nunez and Pena would welcome Welcome a matchup. Uh, big fights coming up in the light heavyweight division and potentially women's flyweight, women's bantamweight division coming out of this event at UFC 275.